see the game more clearly with high definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. What's the mood in the camp? Because it must be fantastic off the back of getting through to a final. Yeah, everyone knows that uh, the mood in camp at the moment is fantastic. Uh, great performance last week against Chiefs in the, in the semi final. And uh, we'll be backing that performance up this week against Newcastle. Yeah, I suppose the incentives there for those of you on the fringes to you know, try and get in and if, if you can get an opportunity and earn a place in the final team. Yeah, 100%. Um, couple of a couple of boys in for this game, including myself, and hopefully be sticking our hand right up for selection for next week, for the week after, sorry. And Locke's been fiercely competitive all season. I suppose it's even more so now Mariano's fit. Yeah, it's, it's been competitive, which has been uh, excellent. And to be fair, the boys have done a great role, Sav and TP mostly. Um, but we're always pushing hard behind them. Uh, it's great that Mariano's here. It's a breath of fresh air in terms of what he, uh, how he analyses stuff and how he gets about his, his ways. And as a youngster, I mean, there's three really experienced seasoned locks there now for you to learn off. And I mean, that's even more than there was last season, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's like you said, it's a fiercely comp competitive uh, area in the team, and uh, we all thrive off that. To be fair, and we all thrive off each other, trying to trying to get better and uh, play better for each other. Has it been a bit frustrating though? I'm sure you'd have liked more games on this season, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't expect to have a season like I had last season. Uh, in terms of uh, developing, I've, I've had to work a lot harder um, on and off the ball. So uh, just keeping my game developing and hopefully get me opportunities when they arise. And what areas have you been working on specifically? Just working harder off the ball, to be fair. Um, I'm quite comfortable with ball in hand and uh, I enjoy that. So just little things, getting off the deck a lot quicker and stuff like that. Just working harder around the park then? Yeah, a, bit and a lot of running. Laurie, Laurie likes, likes running. Yeah, annoying that. Um, <laughs> in terms of Newcastle, I suppose they're in a very similar position in the Premiership to Gloucester. Yeah, 100%. Um, We've going out this week, uh, knowing we've got a performance to back up, and we know that uh, Newcastle haven't got much to lose either. So I'm sure it'll be a, an entertaining game of rugby in terms of where teams are going to be throwing the ball around a little bit. Um, both sides have got nothing to lose. We've got momentum to keep going, and they've got uh, places to climb higher on the table. So it'll be a good game. And Gloucester have also got an unbeaten home record in 2015 to protect. Absolutely, uh, we know that, and uh, we're looking to go out there on Saturday and keeping that record going. Finally, a word about James Simpson Daniel, who officially is now being made a legend of Gloucester. As a man who had his first Premiership try just handed to him on a plate by Simbad's genius, uh, a word about him? Uh, an absolute legend of the game, isn't he? Um, went through like knife, knife through hot butter uh, to set my try up for me, so uh, words can't describe what, how much of a legend he is, and uh, fantastic to have him recognised as that, that player.